about how easy it has been for you to get the roles you had over time. So, um, what was it like? Did you just get called from your house for hustle? For hustle. Or did you go for it? <laughs> did someone just call you and say, ah, chill? Hustle for it. I mean, you, I don't think I've told the press. I mean, mm -hmm. this is an exclusive. But I don't think I've told anybody in the press this story before. But mm -hmm. I auditioned for Hush about six times. Six or seven times. Audition for, for Hush. About six or seven times um, the same year that I got Hush. Wow. And so it's so director, casting director sees your face in game like six times. No, 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 tells no, no. you to. Okay, so, so here, here's the thing. <laughs> the pro me. Producers of Hustle and producers of Hush are different people mm -hmm. because African Magic has a middleman mm -hmm. for each one of those productions. Mm -hmm. There's a. There's a. There's a. There's Basically, a contractor. Yes. Yeah. Between you know, between Mnet and whoever else mm -hmm. is working on the project. So, for Hush, of course, it was different people. It was a different company. Um. So you know, I think it was late two thousand and fifteen. Late two thousand and fifteen. Was doing the auditions for it. But into the new year of two thousand and sixteen, I was doing the auditions. For that it wasn't working out. Um, I, I even got called to come in to negotiate for the character that I read for. And then they just postponed, they postponed, all the, they postponed my meeting indefinitely. Uh -huh. <laughs> Until like I saw the show on TV. Is it your girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> Until I saw the show on TV. So about three or four months later, I, I just got an email to come for a read. Just did one read. And then, were, then the next call I got was from the executive producer of Hustle, who she said to me, please can you um, play your schedule for the next five months? I'm like, no, you're kidding. I'm, like, I'm not trying to do that. Like, like, that's like getting married. Uh, that's the level you of did confidence. Eventually, yeah, yeah, but you know, I eventually did it. Mm -hmm. And I eventually jumped on the ship. And wow, first the first few weeks, First two months was a baptism of fire, but it's been great. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so I auditioned for Hustle. You auditioned for Hustle? I did. You did? Okay. So, but <laughs> there's another thing again. There is a wave of um, accusation of sexual abuse in the Hollywood mm. industry. Mm. Yes. And I, I know that it is not exclusive to Hollywood. I Are you saying it's in Hollywood? <laughs> <laughs> is that what you're saying? Oh well, I'm just, that's why I'm having this conversation. I, I, I wanted to help you finish that sentence real quick. Um, you see, sometimes even I see it. Mm. Sometimes even I see it, and when I see when I see that happen, I talk to both parties. I mean, I don't, because you know, sexual harassment happens sometimes in only the most subtle ways, even just by speaking, making the wrong comments, making inappropriate comments, you know, uh, um, directed at or directed at the opposite sex, or just even. And I'm I'm talking about male victims and female victims. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Mm. So I see it happen. As in, so the, I'm telling you that it is present, but people just need to speak up. Well, you see, it's a really broad thing. <laughs> <laughs> so for some people, mm -hmm. I'm not sure that some people know that they are actually harassing the other person. They yeah, don't you think it's a harassment. Mm -hmm. So for instance, I'm a lady. I'm going for an audition. And I know that it's possible that I might not be qualified for that role, or that I just don't fit what it is. But I'm like, director, I'm on that. <laughs> you know, like I'm just like, you know what? Whether this guy likes, she is a guy that is there. Whether he likes it or not, I'm getting this role. So I am ready to actually give it what it takes. I think that is harassment. I, I, I could, I am I'm ready to That's do That's an interesting way to put it. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's like I'm ready to do whatever it She's is. She's smart. 
<laughs> okay, I'm blushing inside. Well, you can't see because I'm dark. <laughs> but that, I, I, I think that is also harassment. Because there's the other angle of, oh, the director is the one that knows that you're not going to get the road anyway. But instead of him saying, thank you very much for coming and you should go home, then he tells you, gives you a little bit of hope and then decides to sleep with you. There's that angle. But it's a, we understand that it's a two way thing. I don't know how this, sorry I'm thinking because nobody has actually come out to Nigeria to shout harassment, mm. obviously. Mm. So I, I want to go back to Hollywood. I, there was a story, and that story has even died in my head for you to know how fast they kill it. That the story was that there was a lady that claimed that Oprah Winfrey killed her for a movie director. Mm. Yes. And you know, I just needed to sleep and wake up maybe in another one month. I was hearing Oprah for president. I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah, but you know, that's um, a different thing. That was because of her speech at the Golden Globes, and everybody was like, oh, Oprah won't be bad for president, maybe Ellen for vice in America and all of that. But that's a different thing entirely. So, what do you think we can do to make people actually speak up in Hollywood? The part, in Nollywood. Sorry, in Nollywood. The version I always hear is the part where some girls would just not mind. They just want to be in the movie. Mm. The, that's the story I always hear. The girl, girls just want to be in the movie. And it's not like the director really has a choice. The girls are the ones insisting. So he sleeps with them and gets them roles, which they are not even going to be paid for. That's Sometimes the, they pay. Sometimes the girls pay to be in the movie. Mm. Heard that before? Yes, uh, I've heard before. So, what's the ultimate advantage of of? No, because you, you see, the thing is that the the, the end the end just game the end game mm -hmm. is not to be in the film, just to be in the film. The end game is to have a platform to advertise something that's more than mm -hmm. acting. Mm -hmm. 